Hello, this is Jorge. And this is uh, Possibility Team Become Music. Last week, we entered into a space. There was a group of us and we entered into a space that was really alive and powerful. In this space, we were experimenting with uh, the expression of our voice and, and, and what's blocking it what's creating blocks inside of our voice that either repress what we're saying or that don't let the what we want to express out <clears throat> in this experiment last last week and I will I will do a demonstration soon this is my purpose for recording this video is that uh, the distinction that we went uh, on last week was about creating the space for the music to have a space to land, something like that. Uh, kind of like when, when you are preparing a, a banquet or preparing a, a meal for, for, for somebody, you have to set up a table where, where people are gonna eat. You have to have a plate, you have to have whatever utensils or maybe you're eating with your hands. But is this a set up, setting up of the space? Cooking is is one part of it. You can be a, a great cook, and there is the, the other part of it that is uh, like uh, like like having the space for this food to be eaten, the the plates, the cups, uh, the bowls, and and it's, it was this space that we were discovering last week of how to prepare the space for the food that's gonna be brought. The food. Uh, speaking on music, uh, for it to be uh, nurturing, to be received, um, and continuing with this analogy of of food, is like this part of uh, giving thanks, like appreciating the food, appreciating the cooks, appreciating the, the the plants and the animals that went into into the the food, the preparation of the food, appreciating the space and also setting setting the context uh, are we eating because we're hungry are we eating because we want to celebrate together and kind of this like setting the purpose the distinction that we explored last week was when you say the purpose of your communication more love happens more love happens when you say the purpose of your communication so music being a, a, a type of communication, <clears throat> when you set the purpose, when you say the purpose of the communication that you're gonna send, it, it bridges, it bridges into the space. It has like this anchoring into the space that allows the, the music to have this space to, to be, to enter like, like food. looking at, at, a, at a different uh, like continuing with this analogy with food it, when we are just entering into music and giving music without saying the purpose it could be it's like this uh, neurotic speaking uh, where there is like like food is being thrown around uh, food is being um, like put up on the table for who knows what to eat it like the like food is being uh, put into the space and and uh, the the entities in the space, the beings in the space, don't know how to interact with that. Is is this a gift? Is this for me to eat it? Is it for me to to see it, to look at it? What is it for? So when you when you pr bring the purpose of uh, into the space of what your communication is, then it has this this space for consciously and. Uh, kind of like yeah like consciously like it's on the light like we know how we are gonna consume this we know what this is for <clears throat> so we we practice i've been practicing this week this this skill uh with my music and also with my speaking like whenever i'm gonna speak i'm saying that the, the purpose of my communication and it's open up these spaces of uh like more more awareness about what is being said 
and it's brought like a lot more clarity about what my purpose is in the space. So it's like this double-edged sword, which is working uh, amazingly to to help me stay with, with clarity about what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm I'm going to keep this this video short or like I'll see like I'll just go with what's next alive there for me and I want to go into a demonstration of uh, using my fear to um to 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 sing uh, using my fear my feeling of fear to sing this was the uh, the experiment last last week that came up from from our session and in the past, this has been a really uh, a blocker for me in terms of my expression. I've been like blocked heavily. I, I get like into this paranoid state uh, where, for example, when I'm playing the guitar, my fingers will get all, all twitchy, my, my arms will get all twitchy, uh, my legs will start twitching like crazy and, and I would uh, and there was like a, like a big tension. So in this experiment is about going in consciously into the feeling of fear and letting that, <clears throat> that fear kind of like have a voice. And I, I received a, uh, from Manuela who was in the last meeting, she shared this amazing piece of, of gold uh, in her report from doing this experiment by herself that she she found the uh, that her voice instead of being blocked by the fear the fear was powering it to to become um for for the voice to have for the feeling to have a voice like the the the, the fear was no longer like like preventing her from from say from singing from being in her expression but it was like like powering and it was like the, the fear was not uh holding holding her back and and in terms of expression in terms of music this is gold this is really gold because it, it connects with your feelings the, the the blocks that are here they get uh opened up and there is more authenticity from from connecting with your feelings what you're actually feeling because when there is actual fear like it is real and 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 you can have a voice for that and you can and music is the, this channel this this possibilities like this this world where uh, where expressing that becomes possible and and the first part is uh, allowing yourself to to do that allow, uh, giving yourself permission to be in your fear to express your fear So I'm, I'm gonna set up a timer for three minutes. Okay. And, and I'm gonna go ahead with this experiment. The experiment, and you can do this at home, uh, watching this recording, put your timer for three minutes and from the beginning start navigating towards your fear don't stay up here don't stay in your mind keep going down into your your emotional body and your center uh, so that you're not in your in your mind creating stories about your fear but that you're actually allowing yourself to, to feel the fear that's there and it doesn't have to sound like anything specific uh, it's your own expression and your own experiment this is my my own experiment oh yeah it's it's important that you find a place where you can be loud where you can really be as loud as you can without getting uh, bothered without getting uh, disturbed or interrupted so here we go Ah, 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 ah,
Time's up. Um, once, once you're done, you keep breathing. But what was your, uh, what was your fear informing you about? What was your fear about? My fear, my fear was mainly, my fear was about performing, about looking bad, uh, about doing it wrong. I felt scared of, um, of being too loud. And this is, this is the experiment to go yourself in into these spaces of ah, it's like ex expression expression raw expression of, of your feelings wh whatever it is uh, and in this case I, I was sticking with the fear and i want to show you this uh map that can kind of that has been uh, a guidance uh yeah, the experiment to stay there with your fear and to to be in this experiment and for this uh, meeting i want to also experiment with with anger and i just want to show you this uh, map that i have here this is a, a tetrahedron 
it's a geometrical shape that is made out of four four different corners uh four different sides so it looks kind of like a triangle when you look at it like that uh and then it has this tip that makes it a pyramid and it has four different sides so it's great uh, map for mapping out any maps that have four different sides and i use it in the in this case for for my fear for just staying and sticking with the fear each one of these corners represents one of the primary primary feelings if you are not familiar with this the 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 theory or the <clears throat> the the there is like I, i'm working with four feelings so four feelings that are the primary feelings and then through the combination of these four different feelings there comes the the manifestation of other feelings such as excitement or anxiety or bewilderment or uh, uh, like what is this one like jealousy uh, any of those feelings depression like all of all of these feelings they are a combination of uh, two or more feelings so uh, when you get to work with one of the feelings uh, in specific the, the the reason that we're doing this is that you get to work only with that feeling without mixing it with other feelings and and in this way because it, it's a triangle pyramid uh, you you can see for example if we're working with the fear so i'll show you the, the fear will be the green one this red one will be anger uh, this one here, yellow, will be joy, and this one here is sadness. Sadness, water. So when when I have it like this, with the fear uh, tip pointing at the top, it's like the other feelings are sustaining, are creating a base for the fear to be out there. In that way, if I feel my my sadness coming off from when I'm expressing my fear then I can I can ask my sadness to to stay down there supporting my fear and and it, it works like amazingly and in, in the same way like this is a moving a moving uh, map so you can have a joy at the top you can have the, the rest of your feelings supporting your joy uh, and the rest of your feelings supporting your your anger uh, and in this way, I use this map uh, as a way to, to do this focus uh, work with my feelings. The, the distinction here is that when, when you combine two of them, it gets uh, the feeling gets diluted. Uh, and it's almost like we haven't been trained to distinguish our feelings. It's all like it all comes together. So when you have uh, depression, uh, when you're mixing... is so when you're mixing for example your anger you feel angry about something and you're mixing it up with your sadness that you feel sad about something and you're mixing them together and that re gets represented in, in this map here uh, with this circle this little circle here and that is like a, a combination when you're mixing up anger and sadness and one of the results of that is depression you get depressed you like like in bed you're not not able to move not able to think no not able to to do any actions you're like depressed uh <clears throat> and what happens when we mix them is that we create like this certain alchemical combination inside of our body that get, uh, gives that result that is that of being disempowered uh, with in our depression and it's very hard to to kind of like make sense uh, of the two feelings. Some people that are more experienced with this and they have been doing more more their more their work through this or through their own method, they can distinguish more and recognize that there is two two forces there, or more. Uh, so in the case of uh, depression, of mixing up these two, you you will do like the the work will be about on mixing those feelings so that you can get to work uh, specifically with your anger uh, that you can see what are you angry about like really what what is your emotions telling you what you're angry about which is not a, a design error it's not a mistake it's, it's really like your your emotions are telling you something about your authenticity about your being 
and you get to work with that. What am I angry about? And then on the other side, when you unmix them, you get the other side, which will be your, your sadness. And then on this side, you, you can actually like say like, I feel sad about this because of this or that. And, and then uh, you have these two uh, clarity. You get clarity from doing this on mixing and mixing process. So the pro these initial steps of doing these experiments with, with only fear, for example, is uh, the, that, you get, that you get to distinguish inside of yourself what your fear feels like. Uh, in a, in this way that is uh, pure, that is not mixed up with something else, and that that's uh, the usefulness of, of this map. <clears throat> so if you do this experiment at home after watching this uh, recording, please, I want to know how it went for you. I want to hear it. Uh, how did it sound for you? I want to hear it. Uh, there there might be words that come with your expression. Um, this will be the this next part that I want to experiment with. So for this next experiment, I want to work with uh, my anger. And yeah, so I'll have in, in terms of this map, I'll have the anger like at the top and the other feelings will be supporting my anger to be expressed. I would also do this for three minutes and it was interesting in the last uh, experiment uh, I noticed that there was a th this experiment is about walking from verbal reality where you are uh, in verbal where you are in a, yeah, when, uh, you're in verbal reality and walking your way towards experiential reality like literally like opening up a door and entering into a world of vibration, sound, feeling, and colors, and warmth, temperature. You enter into this space that is like, like an uh, experiential reality. And, and this is the, like an important distinction of you. Like, are you only thinking? Are you only in your mind? Are you thinking about all of these things? Or are you actually feeling? And how, how is that path uh, inside of you in between thinking, being a, in a space of, of thinking or of words and logic and reason, and then uh, journeying your way down to your, to your feelings, to this like experience of being alive. So I, I noticed that in the last experiment that there was that part that I I walked without saying it, but now I'm now I'm saying it. Uh, it's always good to have a, a drink of water in between, like after you're using your voice a lot. Also, these experiments uh, will. <clears throat> will send you into, will, uh, will they will create a, a sort of liquid state inside of you. And this, uh, this liquid state is when you are in a space where uh, things are reorganizing inside of you. So through, uh, with drinking the water, it also like helps this liquid state, uh, uh, stay stay liquid to to find the, the the best organization and to to actually like stay in that liquid state where you are not something solid but that you are uh, something that is constantly changing and constantly moving and and there is no like uh, like a, it's not like a mountain that you have to go to but it's a manifestation of using your voice with your feelings and entering into transformational spaces uh, that you something starts reorganizing in your being. It can be in your mind, it can be in your physical body, it can be emotionally, and there is many different manifestations of your liquid state. So drinking water and resting is very recommended after doing these experiments. So I will go ahead for three minutes I will uh, uh, use my anger 
to bring song or bring music. <coughs> go to a pause doesn't need to finish or look nice or pretty stay with your feelings stay with that sensation and let it circulate in your body then when you when you when you still uh, are in tune with that energy just write down write down in, in your notebook or share it uh, with somebody share it in a space share it in a, in a voice message and write down the the clarity that came for you <clears throat> The clarity that came for me from this and like still being in aliveness with it is the the life force the intensity of that anger the intensity of those feelings it is not something to talk about it's something to to be alive with it's something to <clears throat> to to feel and to let let yourself be part of that thing that 
that becomes a, a channel for that intensity to come into the world in your voice, with your voice, through your voice. This is you, this is your, your voice, and your voice is your, your biggest instrument, and <clears throat> it's your, your gift. <clears throat> There, there is a, a part that, that also came about like teamwork, about like the intensity of the anger, how it can be kind of like like clearing. It creates such a like vast, vast space uh, of clarity that it made me think of, of teamwork, like how does it go with a team? Like how can I be expressing this intensity of anger with, with a team? and with others in person <clears throat> uh, and at that level of intensity uh, I could only find uh, a few words I, I could only yeah I could only find these like words of uh, my boundaries of saying yes and saying no and and my my edge is uh, of how how do I use my my anger in because I can I can experience anger at lower levels and then there is like a gap in between and then like a higher a higher levels. <sighs> and it's it's a, it's like a story that I tell myself and it's also like a like a limitation that I notice in my daily life of these uh, smaller levels of anger that I'm not able to, to actually use uh, to create when I'm in contact with, with others. I feel scared of my anger and of the intensity of bringing in like that intensity to, to other to people around me, to, to the spaces where I am. I feel I, that's where I'm out of like feeling like that fear of expressing my anger at, at that level. Uh, the, the clarity I was getting is that I, I'm, I created a life for myself where uh, that's not possible. Like it's, it's not possible for me, uh, and it, it's also not not possible for for me to express that I into the space. Like the space will crumble apart. It's something like a, it's so unfamiliar to me, and <clears throat> and I feel joy of having the this entrance into uh, being in my problem being in that problem that i am and and actually like doing these experiments that that start changing my shape and start changing uh, things inside inside of me uh, because they rearrange i want to align with my life livelihood with my, my aliveness with my authenticity of of these feelings, of this clarity, and it's so big that ah, uh, it's like I I want that, I want that I, so so much, and it's not a reality yet in my life that I can be in, in that intensity of feelings. I I can be in those in those spaces in a possibility team or in different spaces where I'm holding space or where uh, where there is like a clear context. But in these spaces where the, there is a like a mixed context, where there is like the, the ordinary uh, living life, surviving, and then and then myself, my own, like my context of the culture where I want to live, the culture that I'm creating, uh, the culture of feeling, of healing, the culture of, of a regenerative culture that works with Gaia. <clears throat> these two, they, they are... Uh, Con conflictive and and I feel scared uh, of the, yeah I feel scared of using my anger to to do anything to change anything because it's like it will swallow me I feel scared that it will swallow me and I, I don't know if this sounds uh, familiar for others but I, I've heard this uh, many 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 times and and it's like this prison that that I'm in that it, it, it blocks my aliveness from being truly there
the distinction that I wanted to bring into the space today is uh, about anger and that uh, your uh, your energy of anger it holds that that thing that you care about it, it holds that uh, it, it mirrors that thing that you care about your anger what you're angry about it mirrors what you care about so in getting in getting in touch with your anger and being able to express it musically uh, and also like in your words ver like verbally with your with your sounds it, it starts creating this this channel this uh, pathway for you to start creating the, the things that you want to create in, in your world and <clears throat> for having like a more clear path of of how to get there it, if without the experiments it's impossible to get there like there there will be too many blocks that block you from experimenting and from uh, uh, from going outside of your comfort zone so the, this this is an opportunity to to go there for no reason to uh, like go full out in your intensity of your anger for no reason and to actually see to go there for no reason because if you're looking for a good reason you might never get there or you might get like like halfway there and you never get to, to that like full full on intensity and get to feel it in your body what it feels like so this is um this is this is the that how you start creating in the world what you want how you start like seeing like getting clarity about what you want and how you've been blocking that thing that you want with with reasons with conditioning and the, the anger is this like initial like force is this uh, uh it's like the the warrior is the, the the one that goes first the ones that uh, has the, the enough power and may uh, yeah enough power to hold space for for the other feelings to to emerge more safely after exploring experimenting with my my anger for a certain time then my other feelings they feel uh, be they feel like they have a space now to to be expressed and the yeah the rage is your anger is that that force that that takes that the next step uh, and that protects it's the warrior, he's your guardian. <clears throat> and so the yeah, the experiment for this week, if if you watch this uh, recording, this video, is to go into those three minutes of expression of your anger. Let let the anger like come into intensity into your voice. Don't stay here, don't think about it. Uh, don't don't be trying to make it sound nice or anything bring it to here to your voice and from from your feelings from your center uh your of your aliveness of your expression uh, passing through through here and letting it transmute into your voice put your voice into the space bring your voice into into this space without needing it to sound good or sound like anybody uh this is an experiment where you can uh, allow yourself to to sound bad or uh, or according to what your determination of bad is and, and a space for <clears throat> uh, for doing that experiment of, of walking there uh, to start clearing those pathways of your anger and your musical expression and this is the purpose one of the consequences of doing this is the that you get more freedom of movement uh, inside of your voice inside of your your expression of your voice and inside of your communication even so you get this freedom to to go to these spaces uh, more from an authentic voice and less from a kind of like a, a repressed voice you go more into like this is what i'm here to share or this is what i care about this is what i'm noticing so for this week three minutes set the timer from the beginning navigate to your anger and start expressing it for the three minutes you don't have to push it to go to high intensity uh, so far uh, but stay in the intensity stay in the in the intensity 
the, that you can muster. And this can be like screams and shouts that, that are non-stop. This is part of it. Uh, and if you do this uh, and you're able to record it, please share it. I, I, I want to hear what you sound like. I want to hear more like the sounds of rage, the sounds of, of your feelings, what your aliveness sounds like and the, this process because for you it might come with words you might already have words you might have more access to to different levels of your anger so more clarity so it's different for everybody and i i, I really want to hear what it sounds like for for you so that that's it for now uh, one moment So let's see, we have a, a unexpected uh, join. Okay, she's not here anymore. Okay, well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. And until next time, have a good time experimenting with your music. And we meet here. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm holding space for these meetings uh, once a week, every Thursday, Pacific time from 10 a.m. to 11.30. Be on time, show up on time, be here, and and the like. Everyone will have a, a time to to share uh, about their journey with music. To have a check in in the beginning, to have a centering uh, exercise for all of us to tune in into the space, and we, everyone will have a time for uh, yeah for uh, what do you call this? Uh, for practicing you can actually get to like be in in smaller teams and practice your music your sounds and it's a yeah it's a this space that i'm holding for every uh, once a week so you're welcome to join ask me for the link and thank you for watching bye for now